And some controversial prison maintenance contracts will expire and not be renewed at the end of the year. The contracts are with the Charlotte Company, whose chairman is a campaign donor for Governor McCrory. WNCN's political reporter Bo Minnick joins us in studio. Bo. Well, Sharon, while the contracts are expiring, at this point, this issue is far from over. And really, that's on several fronts, as many are still asking questions about the circumstances surrounding how state leaders extended the contracts with the Keith Corporation. But there's also still the question of private versus public maintenance for state prisons and what makes sense for North Carolina. We really need to look more deeply into the whole question of, of private contracts. Senate Minority Leader Dan Blue tells us today the state still hasn't gotten to the bottom of how to address this issue moving forward. He was one of the lawmakers at yesterday's Governmental Operations Committee hearing. State Budget Director Lee Roberts spoke about how he was asked by Governor McCrory to weigh in on the matter, whether the state should extend private maintenance contracts on three prisons last year with the Keith Corporation. I, I think it's clear that cost savings are available. Department of Public Safety Secretary Frank Perry has a different opinion. When I first met Mr. Keith, he said he could save us a million per prison per year. That's 56 million. Of course I would listen. Anybody would. We didn't see that. We still don't see it. Perry expressed security concerns about privatizing maintenance at state prisons. Concerns echoed by the State Employees Association of North Carolina, who represents correction workers. If I'm coming in from outside just for a few hours, to work on something. If I leave a screwdriver behind, it might cost lives. The State Employees Association is voicing concerns about whether there will be a movement toward wholesale privatization in the future, but some say the savings are there and it's something North Carolina should consider. Bo Minnick, WNCN News.